All right, first of all, I wanted to show you my uh, charcoal basket that I use in my offset. Um, it's made from expanded steel. It's framed with angle iron. It's 17 inches long by one foot. And I think it's about let me see, seven or eight inches deep. Yes, yeah, seven inches deep. Now, the interesting thing about this, and this is a trend that came along later after the whole minion method uh, was developed. This has um, kind of dividers right here right here and right here. And what, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my uh, starting charcoal right here and then the, it's going to just kind of burn like a wick along the serpentine. And um, that's going to give me several hours of burn. And then after this starts to deplete, I'm just going to add more unburnt charcoal. Um, so you know, this is uh, lump mesquite that I have in here. And it's probably about 10 pounds of uh, charcoal right here. This is my um, old basket that I used to use in my uh, New Brunsfels, the Black Diamond. And this is basically 10 by 12 by 10. And the way this one would work is I would pile, I, I'd put a whole bag of charcoal in here and then just put the starting charcoal right on the very top. And it would just burn down. And again, give me several hours of burn. All right, um, so I've got my the uh, charcoal basket loaded up in the in the fire chamber here and you can already hear the uh, lump popping which means you know it's lighting it's uh, igniting right now um, hey and if you you know have one of these vertical smokers which are great by the way um, you can still use the menu method just fill your charcoal bowl up with unlit unfueled charcoal no lighter fluid on it and again just place um, you know a handful of lit briquettes or whatever on the top of the mound and, and it'll do this it'll it'll give you that minion method I even use this in my Weber kettle so it, it's a it's a very very good technique um, what I'm gonna do now is uh, get the door of my chamber shut uh, you're gonna want to open up your damper um, all the way make sure your chimneys uh, fully open and we're get to get this uh, pit preheated um, I'm gonna be cooking I'm about 240 250 today and uh, then we'll get these ribs on Hey guys, <laughs> almost forgot a pretty important part and that's the wood. Um, I'm cooking on this particular cook with uh, pecan today. Um, what I'm planning on doing is this small little piece here, I'll put it right on top of uh, where the charcoal's lit. That way I'm going to be introducing smoke, you know, to my cook right off the bat. Then I'm going to take a bigger piece and I'm going to place this on the side of the pit and as the charcoal ignites around you know that serpentine when it gets to the edge it'll it'll heat this enough to, and that's how I'm going to continually uh, feed the wood in eventually when this um, whole basket is lit it doesn't really matter anymore then I'll just be plopping them on top of the uh, lit coals um, but again remember too these this wood's going to also be providing heat so we're going to get hours of burn off of uh, off this basket with the wood okay well uh, See you in a bit. All right, uh, since this particular video is kind of about, you know, fire management, the minion method and everything, I, I thought it was also important to mention uh, the smoke. You know, when you're, when you're barbecuing, you want to see just a nice transparent blue smoke. You do not want to see, you know, white chugging smoke like a train. Uh, that's going to equal bitter, bitter food. Um, it's producing creosote, um, which will coat your food and it will taste awful. This is what you want to see. I, I don't even know if this shows up. This is my heat, uh, my uh, chimney stack here. Um, it's fully open and got a, just a transparent blue smoke coming out of it. It's kind of wisping out of it. Um, if you're ending up with white smoke, uh, it could be a few reasons. Uh, I like to let my uh, pit come up to full temperature before I start adding wood. You, you need a nice good heat store so it's not just kind of laying in there slowly smoldering. That's going to produce the uh, that white smoke. Um, another issue might just be, be oxygen. The oxygen level might be too low. So uh, you know those are a couple things you want to want to check is crank open that uh, the damper. Just make sure if you can you want to keep your exhaust fully open. Um, you just want that good oxygen transfer going through there. All right, guys. So I'm five hours into this cook now, and as you can see, I still have a pretty decent amount of charcoal left. But it, um, just for the, I'm almost done with my cook. I got about an hour left uh, in my cook. 
Um, I'll show you what I would do, if, again, if I was doing a much longer cook. Um, this is just a big, you know how you get lump charcoal sometimes and there's these ridiculous size pieces? That's what this is. Um, normally what I would do is, you know, take a couple handfuls of, of charcoal and throw it in there. Um, I'm just going to throw this in. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the amount of smoke that's coming out. I got a little log still over there burning and uh, a little chunk I added earlier um, of the pecan wood. So I'm getting a good good amount of smoke. I don't want any more smoke than I have. Uh, but this is basically all I do. And w when you open up the fire pit, the, the it takes a while um, for the cooking chamber to drop when it's just when you're just opening this. It's opening up that lid on the cook chamber which really affects your uh, your cooking temp. So, you know, every once in a while, it's, there's nothing wrong with just taking a quick peek as long as you're not leaving this open too long. And if you feel like you need some charcoal, add it. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So my cook is done. Uh, I ended up going six hours. And uh, I mean, I, that that's enough good quality coal to probably get me another two hours, I guess, if I didn't do anything to it. Um, but again, the menu method is it gets you off to a really great start. And then after you know your uh, temperature just starts to peter a little bit, you just start adding, uh, you know, handfuls of of, of coal. And uh, if you lose smoke completely, and again, you just want that nice fine blue smoke. Um, but if you see that you're losing your smoke, take a peek. And if you need wood, just add it. Um, like I said, it's it's a great way to manage your your uh, pit, and uh, you can easily. Do those long, you know, 16, 20 hour cooks uh, using this method. It's great. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, see you on the next video.